So today's look is a classic vintage glam holiday tutorial. You can wear this for a Christmas party, New Year's Eve, or whenever you want. This uses simple, basic techniques so anyone can do it, and it's going to look great on anyone regardless of the products that you use because this is a vintage look that never goes out of style. So let's get started. I prep my face using my new Glam Glow Super Cleanse Mud to Foam Face Wash. To get my perfect color, I mixed my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC30 and NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. And then to brighten my under eye and conceal my circles, I used NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Vanilla. And then I took my new ELF HD Setting Powder. I'm kind of just trying this out right now. It's kind of frustrating to use because it's tiny and you have to dump, dump it out <laughs> over and over to use it but I'm using this product to set my foundation and concealer. Then I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer just to bronze my face. No contour today, I'm just basically warming up my complexion. Then I'm taking my MAC blush in the color Sun Bask. It's a bronze glittery blush, and I'm just gonna keep that pretty much on the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm gonna add Becca Opal for a highlight, and I'm going to use a fan brush to apply this to my upper cheekbones my temples, and down the center of my nose. Next I'm doing my eyebrows. Typically with vintage looks you'll see the ladies have very, very rounded eyebrows, but I'm not about that life, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick with my straight brows for, for this look today. Then I'm going to prep my eyes with my NYX eyeshadow base, and this is just in the color Skin Tone. Then I'm going to take MAC Soft Brown and blend this into my upper crease and lower lash line as a transition shade. This is the color Fawn from the Anastasia Single Shadows and I'm going to keep that in my lower crease with a slightly smaller blending brush. And you can see I'm not putting this in the middle of the crease, I'm just keeping it in the inner and outer corners. Then I'm going to take a clean blending brush and mix those two colors together really well. And this is MAC Espresso. It's another neutralish brown shade and I'm going to do the same technique with a smaller brush and keep this in the inner and outer corner. And I'm also going to connect it to my lower lash line. And you can see these products never connect in the middle of the crease. Then once again, just make sure you blend that out with a blending brush. And then I'll go back in one more time with that darker espresso color and blend that in the inner and outer corner and on the lower lash line. Next I'm taking my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and I'm going to use this color in the bottom center called Honey Pot. This is the perfect gold, it's not too bronze and not too yellow. And I'm going to apply this with my finger all over my lid. And I'm not going to cover up these smoky corners, but I am going to take the gold and let it meet those brown shades. And then I'm going back in with this color Sexpresso. It's a very deep brown on a pencil brush. And I'm going to deepen the inner and outer corner with my pencil brush. Then once again, blend that out with a blending brush. You probably get the idea by now. Then I'm taking MAC Rice Paper. It's a whitish gold satiny color and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and inner eye with this color. Then I'm taking my Inglot Gel Liner in the color 77 on an angled brush from Morphe. And you can see I'm pretty much just stamping this. This is a very easy technique if you're a beginner for gel or winged liner. Get the color on the brush and then just stamp it right where you want it. You can see I just stamp it right there and that will help get a nice straight line and it will make it so you don't put on too much product too early. And then I basically just keep building on that until I get the wing as big as I want. Now I'm taking my NYX Gold Eyeliner and I'm going to run this along my lower waterline. Then I'm taking my NYX Gold Glitter. This is in the color Crystal Silk. It is liquid and I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner as you can see here. And then of course I'm going to coat my eyelashes with a coat of mascara. And I'm going to use false eyelashes. So I'm going to make sure I tight line my upper waterline to make sure that whole area is nice and black. Now this is what it looks like if you use very dramatic lashes. So you can do this look if you want, but I'm going to go with a slightly more natural look. 
using the Ardell 120 Demi Lashes, my favorite drugstore lashes. And I'm just gonna pop those on the upper lash line. I always apply my false lashes with tweezers. I just find it very easy to adjust them when you use tweezers. And because I've worn these lashes in the past, they do have a little makeup on the lash band, so it's always good to go in with some eyeliner and cover up any makeup that's on that lash line. Next, we're gonna be doing lips. And I'm going to take my MAC Lip Liner in Cherry. And for our lip color, we're gonna go ahead and go with Lady Danger. It is a matte color from MAC Cosmetics. And in these shots, it's pulling very orange, but in real life, it's not quite this orange. It is an orangish red, but it's much more red than it appears here. And I'm just gonna line my lips, fill them in, and then go over it with the Lady Danger. And that's it for the completed makeup look. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial today, you guys. I hope you found this helpful and gives you some ideas for your holiday party looks. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.